hi guys it's valerine here i hope you are doing great welcome come on in we're gonna go inside of the greenhouse and there is something very important i want to share with you guys thanks a lot for stopping by I appreciate it immensely recently I uploaded a video about how to save on your annuals for all your container gardening and your or let's say planters your accent planters in your garden and your hanging baskets and I actually mentioned that one way you can save is by buying not only plants on sale, but buying seeds on sale. And that led me to thinking, maybe I should share with you guys three things to look for when you're buying seeds. Whether the seeds are on sale or not, these three things you need to look for and i thought about it because i've been burnt more than once and it led me to the point where i have now started ordering my seeds from this trusty little company online the seeds are well packaged they're well labeled and their best before date is usually two or three years ahead that is when I get them two to three years ahead of the time that you get them. So you are not rushed to put them into the ground if you are not ready or you don't have the time to put them into the ground the year you buy them. So number one, the most important thing to look for when you are buying your seeds is the date check that date on the package because sometimes unfortunately stores do sell seeds that are outdated or seeds that have maybe a few months left on them the date may not have passed but the closer you get to that best before date or a plant before date is the less um, chance you will have for germination right so you want to make sure you check that date the next thing that i've been burnt with and up to recently is an empty package so i bought some seeds from the store and i guess i didn't pay attention to what i was picking up all i did was look at what was in the package or what was supposed to be in the package and i counted them off i got what i wanted and so i took them home this um spring i went to plant my dill seeds and guess what i ripped open the package and it was empty there were no seeds inside. It can happen because the seeds are so light, right? And they're very flat because some of them are very tiny seeds. So my suggestion is when you pick up the package of seeds, shake them and listen and make sure that the seeds are really in the package. Number three when you pick up a package of seed make sure that you check the sides because sometimes these seams do come open and if they come open what's going to happen your seeds are going to fall out not only the seams here but also the bottom and the top make sure that the packet is sealed and in good condition so that you don't take it home and you have fewer seeds than you thought you would have or no seeds at all i hope you have learned something i hope that this is useful information if it is 
just leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks so much again for hanging out with me in the greenhouse for this little lesson. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, because that's the foundation of the, well, along with the content I put out, right? The foundation of the growth of the channel. So I appreciate you immensely. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscription button. Remember when you subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.